What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash Show. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, as you guys can tell, it is the completely updated version of my dark of my U-Bells Dark World deck. Um so I'm so I'm gonna be doing a profile on it, give you guys a in-depth look at what combos you could do, do with this deck. And if you guys remember the first profile that I did, it was just a just a mismatch of like warriors and fiends, and then and then when I turned it into a Dark World deck, it was just a mismatch of fiends. Now it's like a complete Dark World deck, you know, with you know, you know all all Dark Worlds, bunch of support and whatnot. And yeah, so let's get into it. Let's get into the deck. So obviously, as you guys can tell, yes, you have to have all three forms of your bell. Um, so. This is pretty standard in this format. It's it's a really good card because with you Bell, you can um with you Bell, she you know you know all three all three forms uh can't can't be destroyed in battle and you take no damage. And all the damage that you would have taken, your opponent takes instead. The difference between all three of these is that is that with her, with you Bell you have to sacrifice a monster to keep her on the field, or she gets destroyed. With Terra Incarnate, um, when you deal damage to your opponent, all card, all other cards on the field get destroyed. And with the Ultimate Nightmare, basically, you when you deal damage to your opponent, your opponent's monster also gets destroyed. Um, but still, these these three are these three are really really good. They are so good. So good, so good to use. Oh, and also just my tokens as well that I'm using that I'm using in the deck. And then also and now for the dark world so first so for the high level monsters I am running three Grapha, one rainbow, two silva, and also two gold as well. So Grapha's effects are pretty interesting because you can, because if you have a Dark World monster on the field, you can bump it back to your hand, summon this guy from your grave, and its effect says that when, when it if that if it was discarded from the grave by a card effect, you can. Target a card that your your that your opponent controls, and you can destroy it. Its second effect is that if it was sent to the grave by an opponent's card effect, you can target a card. You can look at a random card in your opponent's hand, and if it's a monster, you can summon it to your side of the field, face up in attack mode, which can which actually would work perfect if you have if you chose a level five monster, and and you had one of these two out, you can instantly use them to perform an exceed. Or if you have this guy on the field, you know you can use him to um, to possibly link summon. So it's a really good card. Rainbow is probably the worst choice you can you you can have because this guy, this guy you only you only need one one of rain one of rainbow because rainbow its effects can activate only when it's in when it's by your opponent's effect. So. If you guys can read it, but basically it says if this card is, is discarded from the hand to your grave, from your hand to your grave by an opponent's card effect. So it's only by that. You can you can special summon this card from the grave graveyard. And when and when this card is, is special summoned this way, you can destroy either all of your opponent's monsters or their spell or trap cards that they have on the field. So it so really you only need one. Really, you only need one. You know, some people run two, but um, honestly, you only need one because um, you know, you know, just because it's rainbow, and you know, in some in some decks they do use one, and I'm actually r running one. Now, these two gold and silver are pretty awesome, are pretty cool, pretty interesting because gold's effect, because both of their effects are the same. Well, their first effect anyway, but their second effect is different. Because gold's effect is that if it's sent to the grave by an opponent's card effect, you can target two monsters your opponent controls and destroy them. With Silva, you target your, your opponent sends two cards from their hand back to their back to the bottom of the deck in any order that they choose. 
you know, so they're really, so they're pretty, they're pretty consistent, you know, I would recommend, I would, I would recommend just running two of each instead of three, um, you know, you know, as, you know, as, as, especially if you don't have, have any, like, rank, rank six or rank seven Xyz monsters, and you only have, like, rank fours and fives, like, like I have, you, you, you only need two, so, they're pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Alright, now for the four star monsters. So first up I have three Brawn, Mad King of Dark World. And also three Snow, Unlight of Dark World. And then also two Beige, Vanguard of Dark World. So Brawn is pretty basic. It's basic because if if because if it deals damage to your opponent, you can you can send your send a card in your hand to the grave. Which will work, work perfect if you have beige in your hand because beige's effect says that if it's if it's sent to the grave by a card effect, instantly you can summon it to the field. S with snow, it's a searcher. A lot of people don't 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 see it don't see it that much because they only see it as a seventeen hundred attack point beat stick. But this is a searcher because its effect says that if it's sent to the grave by a card card effect, if it was sent to the grave by an opponent's card effect. Not only can you summon one of your opponent's monsters face up in defense mode, but you can also target a Dark World card in your deck and add it to your hand. So you can pretty much target any any of your Dark World monsters, your spells, your traps. It can be anything, you know. So um, you know, and these three monsters are actually perfect when you're exceeding your when you're exceeding rank fours and whatnot. And they're pretty good. Plus, it's plus it's brawn. You got you gotta have three of these. You know you have to have 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 these cards. Man, I have man, I've gotta stop moving my camera. <laughs> Alright, so moving on. So for the last of the dark worlds, I have three bro huntsman of dark world and two cocky gorilla of dark world. So bro's effect is pretty interesting because if it's because. Say for example your opponent activates drag down into the grave and, and they chose and, and this and like say this is the only card that you that you have in your hand. You send this card to the grave and you basically can draw up to four cards. The first card would be by by the effect of drag down because you're because you're allowed to draw a card. Two cards because of its because of this guy's effect, because if it's sent to the grave by a card effect, you draw a card. If it was by your opponent's card effect, you're able to draw a second. You're you're able to draw a second. So instantly that's three. And if and if your opponent activated it, activated it, dragged down during the end phase, instantly that's four cards. So you basically you would basically have a full hand, practically a full hand. And then and then Kaki's effect is basically a ticking time bomb because basically what is. Because it's it's like it's like the fiend version of of Jinkin Jinkin Bakudan. Basically, you destroy your opponent's monster. Basically, so it's awesome. And now for the support of the Dark Worlds. Now this is by now this was a pretty interesting lineup for the for the support. So for the support, I have two Mystic Tomato, one Doomsday Horror, one Tour Guide, one Morphine Jar. One dark, dark resonator and a synchron resonator. So Mystic Tomato is an instant Ubel. It is an instant Ubel because, as you guys tell, Ubel has zero points, and you're able to summon her to to the field when this guy is destroyed by battle and sent to the grave. So, so instantly you would have an instant o OTK. Do with Doomsday Horror, it's a bit, it's a big. Its effects are somewhat are somewhat com complicated, but once you know its effects fully, you'll know why why I chose this guy. Because Doomsday Horde gains 300 attack points for every for every dark monster that was banished. So if you were to act, so if you would so you could use the effects of your field spell, you know, you know, the gates of dark world to banish your dark monsters every turn, you can instantly summon this guy and you would have like you would probably have like a twenty five hundred like a twenty five hundred point beat stick or, or something like that, and if it's sent and if it's just destroyed destroyed and sent to the grave, all your dark monsters would go back to your grave. So it's 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 pretty it's it's a pretty cool card, um, especially in Des in Destiny Heroes, which I'm probably going to be running this in my 
in my Destiny Hero deck, which I'll be doing a profile on. Um, once I get the, you know, once I get, once I've gotten the cards from the new Legendary Hero decks, I, I will be doing the that deck profile soon. And then Tour Guide is Tour Guide. You cannot go wrong with Tour Guide. It's a pretty pretty awesome card. It's an easy it's an easy way to, for you to get out cocky, you know, or bro when you're you know when you want to link summon. So it's pretty good. And then Morphine Jar, yes, Morphine Jar is officially off the ban list now. Hopefully it hopefully it won't be off. Hopefully it'll stay off the ban list for for a while. And um, yeah, it's it's. It's just an awesome way for you to send your Dark World monsters to to the grave, you know, to you know, to to trigger their effects. It's awesome, and then and then with Dark and Synchron Resonator, just mainly for Synchro Summoning. That's why. <laughs> so that so that's the last of the monsters. Now we're gonna get into the spells. So first up, so as I so as I mentioned with, hold on, give me a second here. So. As I mentioned with Snow, Snow is, is a searcher. It is a ba it's a it's an instant field searcher for you. But I but I decided to run two of Terraforming because you only need two. Because Snow, again, is is a dark is a is a dark world searcher. You only need you so you only need two of Terraforming. Which obviously will help you search out your field spell, which is the gates of Dark World. Obviously, as you guys can tell, I only have two I am I am only missing one, but I will be getting that one, that last one, pretty soon. But Gates of Dark World is, is awesome because this this card can trigger can help you trigger the effects of your Doomsday Horror and instantly like just ha like allow you to storm the field. So it's pretty it's a pretty good card. It's 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 Gates of Dark World, so you, you can't go wrong with that. And then also I am running two of Dark World Dealings. And two gateway to Dark World. So those are the only three Dark World cards that I'm running. Obviously, is our Gate to Dark World, Dark World Dealings, and Gateway to Dark World. Gateway to Dark World basically, basically lets you summon out one of your Dark Worlds from your grave. Um, you can actually use this at during the turn's end phase, which would basically let you um, stay stay in the game for uh, for an, another couple rounds. And then Dark World Dealings in this format, because that I am running. Three allure of darkness, and because of the fact that I have I have Gates of Dark World and Snow, and also Bro Huntsman of Dark World, you only need two Dark World dealings and three allure. Those are the you know because there are there's only a few there's like a few draw cards in this deck. Again, Bro Huntsman, uh, uh, Gates dealings and allure, so you don't really need a whole lot of um, whole lot of draw cards. And also, I am, and then also, I am running two fires of doomsday, and also two scapegoat. Obviously, now scapegoat is is limited to two, as as is terraforming. Um, obviously, because because um, a lot of people were using scapegoat to summon out to bring out like firewall and and link Karibo and a bunch of other like one link one monsters and whatnot. So yeah, and then fires of doomsday. Um, I you know just for. Um, bringing out, bringing out one of my link monsters that I have in the deck. So yeah, and then also I have two acts of despair, which is probably not not the odd is which is probably the oddest choice to you to run, but it's still pretty good because you get because your monster gains gains a thousand points, and you can do a lot of damage. And then also I'm running one one monster reborn because it's monster reborn. You you run it every deck, one book of moon and one rank on magic limited variance force, which some people are probably are probably thinking, why, why would you run run this card? Trust me, you will fully understand why. You will fully understand why I am running that that card in a bit. Once I once I get to the extra deck. So for the trap cards, I have one deck devastation and one eradicator. So for those who don't know, eradicator focuses on. Your opponent's back row, and deck devastation focuses on on your opponent's monsters. So Eradicator says, uh, basically it says tribute one dark monster with twenty five hundred or more um, attack points and declare a a type a card type, which is a, which could be either a spell or trap, and 
and then you look at and then you look at your opponent's hand. All spell and trap cards they control, and all cards that they draw until the end of their third turn. After this card card ac cards activation, and destroy all all cards of that type. So basically, you, basically during the end phase of your d during the third end phase of your opponent's turn, after this th this this guy gets after this card gets activated. All spell or trap cards get destroyed, and deck devastation is pretty much the same thing. It's like crush card, but it's exactly it's pretty much like crush card, but you're tributing a dark monster with two thousand or more. So yeah, so it's 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 a pretty good card, pretty good card. You know, some people don't, um, you know, some some people might not like like them because uh, because of the because of the new trap cards that have been released, like fuse line and and evenly match and you know returning cards like goes and match and whatnot but in in this deck it's awesome to use and then also i am running two forces of darkness and two dark smog All with so with forces of darkness you want to expand your options the options in your deck you know you know you know you know you want to bring back bring bring you know, you want to bring back your Dark Worlds, you know, so you can use their effects again. Dark Smog just mainly, fo you know, focuses on focuses on banishing your 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 opponent's cards in in their grave. I honestly, I wouldn't recommend this card, um, because this card is pretty. It's it's good, but it's not that good. But it's still pretty pretty consistent. And then I am also running one of my strongest trap combos: Shadow Spell and Fiendish Chain. Yes, these are my two most powerful trap cards because this card, Shadow Spell, um, forces your opponent to lose 700 points and it can't attack or change the battle mode. Fiendish Chain prevents your, your opponent's monster from using its effects. So if you were to use these two together instantly, that's an instant win right there. Alright, you guys, now for the extra deck. So first up, I have one Red Dragon Archfiend. One Red Nova Dragon, one Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, and one Armadies Keeper of Boundary. So these are the synchros that I'm running. Um, so Red Dragon Archfiend is pretty cool because its effects basically says, and and as as you guys can tell with the secret this vert this secret rare, it's actually from the tins. So this so Red Dragon Archfiend's effects says um says, if, if this card attacks a defense position monster your opponent controls, then all all monsters that are in defense mode your opponent controls are destroyed. And then after, you know, you know after, 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 after damage cal. And then during your end phase, all monsters that, that you control that did not attack are also destroyed. So... It can work against you, but it can also work with you if you want to send your your dark worlds to, to the grave, so you can so you can, um, you know, so you can you can attempt to to trigger their effects. It's awesome, and then red 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 over dragon is pretty cool. Um, its effects are pretty awesome because you basically um, because they're because. Um, you you're you you're basically negating effects. So yeah, and then scarlight. Um, you know, ob you know, obviously, Scarlight is pretty broken. Um, you deal 500 points of damage for every for every monster that your opponent controlled. That was for each monster destroyed um, with that that has less or that has less or equal points than than this guy. So it's pretty awesome. And then and then Armadies, I only use Armadies just to exceed summon. So yeah. So getting back with uh, with rank up Magic Limited Barrier's Force, I have Utopia, Utopia Ray. And Utopia Ray V. So if you so, you guys you guys get why. So Utopia Ray V deal you know focuses on focuses on burn on dam on burn damage. Um, Utopia Ray not very good, but it's still pretty cool to use. And you know and plus it's it's Utopia. You can't go wrong with Utopia. So yeah. So yeah. And then also for the last of the XCs, I have number 85, number 14, Evil Swarm Exiton Knight, and also Adrius Keeper of Armageddon. So number 85 is a risky card because it's a dice it because it has the dice effect. So when you roll a die, if you roll if you if you roll a one, then your life points are cut in half. 
if you roll a two, two, you be you 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 get to draw a card. If you roll a three, your opponent discards a card. You if you roll a four, then then a card on the field, then 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 the effects of one card on the field gets negated un, 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 until the end of the turn. If you roll a five, this card gets just, if um, then you, you destroy a card on the field. If you roll a six, this guy gets destroyed. And then greedy Ceramita, basically. Uh, you deal you deal your opponent damage that you would have taken. Awesome card to use. And then Exiton Knight. It's Exiton Knight. It's an awesome card to use because it focuses on um, on on storming the field. And then Adrius only because you want to destroy your your opponent's monsters. And it has the cocky effect, so it's like a ticking time bomb. And for for the Link monsters, I have two Master King Archfiend and one Proxy Dragon. I was gonna do do Firewall Dragon, but this guy works just as good. So yeah. Alright you guys, now for, for the side deck. It took me a while to figure this out, but for the side deck, I have two Umbral Horde Ghost, two of the Suppression Pluto, and three Eater of Millions. So so Umbral Horde Ghost basically lets you bring out bring out a one of your one of your one of your level four below Dark World Monsters. Um, you know, so you can instantly use use that one to so you can use that and Umbral Horde Ghost to to link summon. It's awesome, and then the suppression Pluto focuses on, you know, it has the 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 brain the brain control effect and snatch steal. I, I I would probably say, so yeah. And then Eater of Millions, it's Eater of Millions. The name speaks for itself. The effects speak for itself. And then also, I am running two Parallel Twister, which is the poor man's twin twister. Still an awesome card. One Arrival Rivals uh, to bring out. To bring out one of your Dark Worlds, and then also one of Dark Men Bell. Obviously, you want to banish. Obviously, you want to take out take out one of your opponent's cards. Awesome to use. And then for the traps, I have Solemn Warning. Um, one of of multiple destruction and two Dark Deal. So multiple destruction is is basically like Morphine Jar. Only you have to have more more than six more than five cards. And then Dark Deal again. It's 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 Dark Deal. So that, so that is gonna do it for for this Dark World deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to post in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think think about this deck. Let me know what cards you think I should take out and put in, because um, I am I, I'm curious. But this is by probably by far one one of my best decks yet. So post in the comments below. Smash that thumbs up button. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell, so you guys get notified whenever I make a new video. And on that, this is your boy Nash here, signing out.